with it. <laughs> I was hoping you guys would spend more time on the big issue, the big ticket, uh, the big ticket, the big ticket. The Zambia Investment Forum we had in London, I'm sure you follow, big ticket. I visit to France, uh, my meeting with the President Macron, A class meeting, big ticket. These are the issues that will help you and other citizens. But you choose to ask that question, it's important that we answer it. But remember also, I went to Scotland and good things came out of Scotland. I'm sure you will know the structure of the United Kingdom, England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland. I traveled to Scotland, fantastic A class meeting with the first minister of Scotland. Good things coming out of it. stronger cooperation coming out of the artists with France, yes, that is one, but also other developmental bilateral and private sector collaboration. Energy working together, technology that is provided by this country, both Scotland, France, England, UK itself, of course, correlation with things. These are big ticket items for our economy and for jobs and businesses. This, this is really what the uh, uh, journalists must focus on. Uh, but I know politics is the a sort of emotional thing that, and, and because we are used to that, here's the answer to the question. First, the issue of the rape is a police matter. It's a police matter, completely police matter. A complaint is made by a citizen, any citizen. I'm sure you know what our Bill of Rights say, what our Constitution says. Any citizen who is agreed in this territory court land has the right to go to the police, including the court, to complain. And the police and the court don't have a choice, but a, what is called an obligation to hear that citizen, isn't it? So that is the rule of it. That is justice. You saw me going to court, police, several times. I never resisted. I went there. None issue at all. Because I always knew that there was more issue to Nothing really to worry about. Of course, the way it was handled those days was wrong. Uh, but this is the fundamental issue at hand. There is a complaint, and the complaint must be followed. Imagine if a complaint was made and the police didn't follow the complaint. What were you going to say as a city, if I may ask you? What would you say? You would say that there's no rule of law, isn't it? Complaint must be heard. <laughs> and it was heard. So I think the rest is a court matter. And I'm not judgmental. I'm not going to be judgmental myself. That's not the way I operate. But follow the story. As to the ill treatment, I don't understand. The law is clear on former presidents. How they are treated. They tell you to the government, yes. Maybe you should ask him that question. There is no ill treatment. If the law says the former president gets a house and the current government builds a house, so it shall be, because that's a law. If the law says the former president is supposed to be paid, is it 80%? Right? We do read these things, eh? I encourage you to read. 80% of the emoluments of the current president, the former president must get it. If the law says the former president is entitled to three policemen, not right? And this is the case you are asking. He's entitled to three policemen. But he had how many? He had 13. The question is that, how did he have 13 instead of three? That was an abrogation of the law, isn't it? So now, how does that become harassment? Honestly, come on. <laughs> you must phrase your question properly. How does that become harassment? When the letter of the law says three policemen, cars, drivers, am I right? Cars, drivers, they are all there. So when the law is now respected, And that's how civilized countries must run. The rule of law says we follow the law. Otherwise, if you slap it, the law will come for you. You can be sure of that. The law will come for you. Because you have 
overstep your right, your liberty. You are injuring his liberty. That's how they know where. Relax, guys. Relax. I want us to have a proper conversation. Relax. Relax. And so I hope I've answered your question. If the law says for a former president to enjoy a monument of a former president, they must not be in active politics. And if they're in active politics, what do you think should be done? You know the answer. We must stay in line with the law. Isn't it? Then we'll have an organized society. <laughs> then we'll have a civilized society. It's got nothing to do with HH's wife. If she has broken the law, there she is. You know, she looks, she has to answer the law. So how can I then come in and say no? Because she's my wife. She's not supposed to be obligated by the law. Then I do not understand how the law operates. I thought that should be respected fully and clearly. And I'm happy to take any other question. Frankly speaking, a follow-up question on this one. Let's stay with this one. Let's stay with this one. Let's stay with this one because the way my friend framed the question is convinced that the former president is being harassed. Now, I have answered and I don't see any harassment. If the police are harassing him, we should address that. Isn't it? But equally, people should not sleep outside the gates of someone. That's a contravention of the law. And I think the police must do their job. People sleep, don't sleep in the streets. They're sleeping home. They must go and sleep in their homes. So they, the role of policing, the role of protection for the former president is that of the police. Institution called the police, created by the laws of the No one else has that right. And I can tell you that there's no question. If there's feeding going on, maybe it's within themselves. As you notice, the last time there was a fed there, who was involved? Same cutter. They are used to those things. But under this government, there will be no hard work. I want to assure you that one of my priorities as head of state, on your behalf, and behalf of other millions of them, is to keep this country under the rule of law. Order. Order. When did you last see blood in, in uh, intercity? Tell me, since we took office. Before we took office, blood was normal, isn't it? Intercity, anywhere else, Kamukodi. Some of you remember Kamukodi. There's no Kamukodi anymore. Anyone who tries to go that route will find me standing in front of them as an institution of the president on behalf of the people. I want to assure you that. And we are orderly ourselves, very, very orderly. We don't want haphazard nets chasing each other. No, 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 no. Jackal, jackal. Let's operate the same right side. You are the first person. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. 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 I would sit in shame 
and even encourage the new government to say, guys, we made this mistake. Please consider that and that so you don't make the same mistake. That's a conversation you should be having, including with the former president. And indeed, anyone else, yourself, the citizen, we should have that conversation. It's the right thing. Any follow-up to that? I want to settle this matter properly. Any follow-up to that? No, no, no. no. This is an extending time delivery because this is uh, overtaking things of development, of debt relief, of uh, you know job creation. We shouldn't allow the best like that. You, the journalist, must set the stage. Check what agencies that you send in you don't get in. It's economy. It's, it's investment. It's trade. It's economic development. That's the one that will grow the economy. That's the one that will allow us to demean the negative impact of the debt. Even after restructuring, we must continue the economic trajectory to support the weak, the sick. You should be happy with NAPSA. At 20%. Isn't it? You should be happy with that. You should be happy with <laughs> meal allowances. If I were here in general, I would set the stage around the NAPSA discussion. And you should be asking me, this fellow now, if I were you, what next? I want to encourage the guys, that colleagues, citizens, respectively, that are drawing on the 20% NAPSA to invest some of that money. That was the intention. They don't wait until they expire, they die. And then, even if they don't die, they get the money, paltry amount, isn't it? Small amount, which you can't invest. This is the ingenuity that we got. Fantastic. CDF, fantastic. CEC, fantastic. Social cash transfer for the weak, for the old, fantastic. You combine these facilities, they provide the social safety net as we restructure the economy. Brilliant, isn't it? Unless your mind works in a different way. Anything else, guys? Now we can move away. Yeah, no problem. I'm all yours. I'm all yours. Anything else? No questions. No questions. No questions. No, no. Allow the best to pass questions. Anything else, guys? Well, where are the women? Where are the ladies? Madam, any questions? Nothing. I hope the message is clear. Right. Thank you. Okay, guys. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much.